time. Let's talk about this. So the coronavirus is going around right now. Everybody's worried about it. And so how do you make sure that you protect yourself during this pandemic of the coronavirus? If you're out there dating, this is round two. My name is Matthew Coast. Welcome to Commitment Connection. If this is if you're interested in, in getting into a relationship, attracting a great guy where you're loved and cherished and seen, make sure you go to the foreverwomanformula.com. There's a link above and below this video. You can go get my whole program there for free. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the coronavirus and how to make sure you protect yourself if you're going out and you're going on dates and you're not sure what to do. So the first thing that I suggest that you do is that you make sure that you have a strong immune system. And so make sure you're taking vitamin C, make sure that you get plenty of rest, make sure that you, you spend time focusing and thinking about the things that you want, the things that you want to create in your life, the things that excite you. There, there's actually some, I, I don't know if there are even studies or not, but I, I've I've heard over and over and over again that if you get into your negative emotions like anger, hatred, fear, those kinds of things, it actually weakens your immune system. So it's much more uh, powerful for you to make sure you don't get sick if you're thinking about things that you want, if you're excited about your life, if you're thinking about what you want to create, if you're thinking about this awesome relationship that you want to get in, if you're thinking about this gorgeous hunk that you're going to meet on a date and get to know. So you want to spend time thinking about the things that you want. Other things that you want to make sure that you do is make sure that you bring some gloves with you so it, you, you don't end up touching anything weird and you can make sure that you're protecting yourself. Another thing, if you are sick at all, make sure that you don't go. Just don't go at all if you're sick. And also bring some tissues and put them either in your pocket or put them in your purse so that you don't have to use other people's tissues and whatnot. So what do you do on a date? You're worried about the coronavirus. It's out there. People are getting it. People don't even know how, how. There's dry coughs. Maybe you have a dry cough. Do I have the coronavirus? Do you have the coronavirus? Nobody knows if they have the coronavirus. And so here's what you want to do if you end up going out on the date. You want to wear the, the gloves that you brought that I was just talking about you bringing. And if you end up do, you do end up touching things that, that might end up having the coronavirus on, make sure you wash your hands, wash your hands a lot. If you're a dirty bird that doesn't normally wash your hands, start washing your hands, okay? This pandemic will make us cleaner as a society. So make sure you wash your hands. The next thing you want to do is allow the man that you're going on a date with to be a gentleman. So take all that stuff about being a strong, independent woman who don't need no man and all that kind of stuff and just throw it out the window and allow him to get the germs on him to open up the doors. <laughs> this, is my, this is your plan, okay? You want to, to allow him to be a gentleman, allow him to open doors for you, allow him to protect you, right? That's, that, that's really the reason that all this gentleman stuff was around in the first place is because men, part of a man's nature is to provide and protect. And part of that protection is making sure that you're taking care of, you know, putting the jacket on you when you're cold or when it's raining out or, you know, opening up doors and, and creating a path so that you can come through clearly. And so also what you want to do is, uh, so, so you're on the date and you guys are, everything's going great. You're having a great time and he starts trying to touch you and he wants to kiss you because you're so amazing. I mean, who wouldn't want to kiss you and touch you, right? And so you're like, whoa, 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 Mr. Coronavirus. I don't want none of that right now, right? And so a lot of women, what they'll do is they'll go, ew, or girls, you know, and do all that kind of stuff. You don't want to do that, right? Because you don't want to freak out the guy. You don't want to reject him, make him feel rejected, or anything like that. Instead, what you want to do is use some handy dandy boundaries. And so let me tell you how you set a boundary if a guy's trying to kiss you or wants to touch you and you're worried about the coronavirus. 
So here's how I teach about how to set boundaries. Boundaries are very important. Here's what you do. You say what you want, you say the boundary, you say why, and then you ask him if he agrees to something. And many times it's the boundary. So here's how it goes, right? The guy's like making some moves on you. He's like, oh, I like this girl. I think I'm going to come up and, and give her a smooching on her mouth, right? And you're like, whoa. First, you say what you want. I would love to kiss you. I, it's one of my favorite things ever is kissing. I could do that all day long. Next, you say the boundary. But I think we should just talk some more until the coronavirus goes away. I'm very uncomfortable with this. Uh, it scares me a little bit. And so I just don't feel comfortable right now kissing you. How about, and so you, you say why, right? So you say the boundary, say why, which is what I just said. And then you ask him if he agrees to something. So how about we go for a walk instead, right? And so basically you're, you're cutting the pattern by having you go for a walk, right? It, it changes things up in his mind. He's like moving forward and you're like, whoa, let's go this other direction, right? And so that's what you do. That's how you set up a boundary and that's how you do it with kissing. You say, I would love to kiss you. I, I, it's, you know, one of my favorite things to do, but I think we should just talk some more until the coronavirus goes away because I'm just, I'm not feeling that comfortable with it right now. How about we go for a walk? And it's basically the same thing if he's trying to touch you and you don't feel comfortable with it, right? You say, you know what? I love touching. I love hand holding. I love hugging. I love all those things, but I think we should just talk some more until the coronavirus goes away because I'm just not feeling very comfortable. How about we go for a walk, right? Or whatever you want to say there. And so that's, that's how to set a boundary right there. Word for word. I also talk a lot more about this, about setting boundaries in my love frames toolkit. If you're interested in that. All right. So next is you want to, uh, by the way, if, if you get what I'm talking about here, say, I get it. If you don't get what I'm talking about, just go ahead and put your question in the chat and I will get to it at the end here. If you, if you don't know, if you don't get what I'm talking about, you can ask about that. You can ask about yourself. You can ask about anything you want to, and we will get to it here in a minute. All right. So next, what you want to do is focus on building a non-physical connection. And, and this is something that you want to do, whether the coronavirus is around or the coronavirus isn't around or whatever you want to focus. You want, is this like a, I think I've got a Kung Fu thing going on here. Anyway, so you want to focus on building a non-physical connection. So get here. Here's the first one that you want to do. And I was just talking about this in my uh, Forever Woman Gold Club program, where you want to if you're if you want a guy to think that you're interesting, there's two ways to do it. The first one is to be interesting and have lots of interesting things to say. The second way to do it is to get curious about him and start asking questions and trying to understand him and figuring out what's going on with him because it's he will end up feeling understood which will make him feel more of an emotional connection to you and so this is a great way to build that connection even if you're not touching or hand holding or any of that kind of stuff next thing you want to do is uh, you can tell a story. So if you do have stories to tell, if you do have interesting things to say, obviously you're on a date. This is the time to say interesting things, right? If you have interesting things to say, if not get curious. Also other things you can do is play a game. And, uh, one of my favorite games to play and a game that you can play if you want to get to know a guy better, if you've been on a date for at least 30 minutes or more, or this is a, uh, second or third or fourth or fifth time you're on a date with a guy, you can play a game. And this game is called, do you know what I like about you? And here's how it goes. You say, do you know what I like about you? And then just pause for a minute and then say whatever you, something that you like about him. And it could be anything, right? I like your hair. I like your personality. I like the fact that you open doors for me. I like, you know, whatever, anything you have to say, 
right? And and then he he'll probably be like, oh, cool, thanks. And then you'll be like, your turn. And then you're like, say, do you know what I like about you? And then say something, right? And it's just a fun game to play. And you can just go back and forth on that where you, after he gets done, you go, you know what I like about you? And you can just do it over and over and over again. And you can make it kind of this continuous game where you do it at different times. You can do it if you guys are in a fight or something. It's a great way to break that fight up and get into more of a positive mood where you're connecting again on a better level. So that's the game. There's another, another thing that you want to do for the non-physical connection is stay present, get present into your body, get rid of the focus on the outside world and just bring your focus in on you. Stop, stop being in a place of fear. Stop being worrying about what he thinks about you and does he like you and is this going well and is, this is a great day. I don't know, what should I do with my hands? You don't have to think about any of that kind of stuff. Instead... You can just focus on yourself and what's going on with you and how you feel in the moment. And that can be a really powerful way to connect with him because when you're in your emotions, you end up connecting with him and his emotions and then you guys connect together. Next thing that you want to do is just have fun, right? Just be playful, have fun, get to know each other, flirt, tease, banter, whatever it is, right? Get curious, all those things. You just want to have fun. Just enjoy yourself. Like there's, I have too many women that come to me and it's like, they've got this agenda, right? Like I'm going there, I'm going to find out about him and I need to know A, B and C about him or, you know, it's like, just relax and have fun and enjoy yourself. You know, life's too short to be all uptight about things and it's boring and the guy doesn't like it, right? And you're not going to build a connection with him. And so you just want to have fun and be playful and enjoy yourself. That's really what you want. And if you show up on the date and he's coughing or looks sick, when you show up, just feel free to end it immediately. So I, I get women all the time who, uh, one of the biggest things that I hear from them is they, they feel like their voice doesn't matter or they're not allowed to put their foot down or they're not allowed to walk away or any of that kind of stuff. And if you feel that way at all, I just want to give you permission right now that you are allowed to do that. You're allowed to walk away. You're allowed to do whatever it is that you need to do. And so the the sound is definitely on this time. All right. So, <laughs> and the last thing, the last most important thing, this is probably the best one. If you're really scared about the coronavirus and what's happening and should you go out and should you go on this date or whatever, here's what you do instead. Video chat. You can video chat anywhere in the world. It's free. There's apps all over the place that do free video chat, including Facebook, Instagram. I think WhatsApp does it. Uh, iPhones do it for free. Skype. I mean, there's tons of different ways that you can video chat. And so that can be a, a powerful alternative if you're scared about the coronavirus eating your soul and liquefying your organs. You can always just video chat right? And it can be a, it can be a better idea. All right. So if you have any questions, throw the questions into the chat and I will go over the questions real quick. Just going back over everything we just talked about before you go out, make sure you have a strong immune system, take vitamin C, focus on the things that you want in your life instead of all the fear and the negativity and all the things that just weaken your immune system. Excuse me. Make sure that you get good sleep Bring gloves, put a tissue in your purse, in your back pocket in case you have the sniffles. If you think you're sick, don't go out. During the date, wear gloves that you brought. Wash your hands if you touch anything weird. Hopefully you're not touching anything too weird on the date. Uh, allow him to be a gentleman and open any doors for you. Avoid kissing, use boundaries. Avoid touching if you're, you're uncomfortable with that. Focus on building non-physical connection. Get curious. Tell a story. Play a game. Stay present and have fun. If he's coughing or looks sick, run for your life. No, but seriously, you, you're allowed to walk out. It's okay. And if, if all else fails, if you're really worried about it, you think the coronavirus is coming for you, you can always video chat instead of actually meeting up for the day. All right, so what questions do we have this time? What questions do we have? 
this time. Uh, lots of Do we have any questions? Is there anyone, is there anybody asking any questions out there? Watching from Canada. Are we still are we still no sound? Are we still on no sound? Is it frozen? What is going on here? I don't know what's going on. Huh. It's frozen for everybody. <laughs> 